how does the color on my skin look here? Or here? Or how about now? Finding the right utility LUT is critical for log footage. And today I'm testing out my new favorite LUT, which does the best job I've ever seen at emulating Ari Alexa colors so that I can make the most out of my C70 footage. I've made a few videos about LUTs for the Canon C70 and specifically one diving into the best utility LUTs for C-Log2. I'll link that up there. But a few people commented or DM'd me on Instagram that I really needed to check out one more company, Phantom. This video is not sponsored by Phantom. However, there are affiliate links in the description to Phantom LUTs. I will also be linking to every LUT I talk about in this video, some of which are affiliate links, some are not, but they will all be labeled as such. For Canon cameras, Phantom currently sells two different LUT packs. The first recreates the Ari Alexa colors that I mentioned, and the second pack emulates very specific film stocks and have more creative stylized looks to them. But I'm really only interested in one of those 11 LUTs. And that is the neutral conversion from C-Log2 to Rec. 709 with Ari Alexa colors. So my workflow whenever I start an edit is to drag all of my log footage into one sequence, adding an adjustment layer, and cycling through my three most commonly used utility LUTs. Canons, Tyler Stallman's, and the conversion sold by the company Buttery. Decide which one of those three looks best for the subject matter, and then I'll use that to edit with and make my tweaks from there. A quick summary of those three. Canons is kind of magenta, but does look flattering on some subjects. Stallman's LUT is a very punchy finished look with very saturated red skin tones, which looks great on its own, but doesn't really work super well if you're layering creative LUTs on top. Buttery is a very natural, neutral base that conversely is very welcoming to additional creative LUTs. And so today I am adding Phantom to this short list of utility LUT contenders as another neutral base that works well when I want to add creative LUTs on top. And for the past few months, that's the type of project I would traditionally use buttery LUTs for. So that's why I am particularly interested in testing side-by-side -side buttery and Phantom today. Quick note on those buttery LUTs, there are five different versions of their conversion, plus one and plus two contrast and negative one and negative two contrast. I find their base LUT to be a little washed out and lacks the necessary contrast or saturation I would need to have a good starting point. So I always go to the plus one contrast which puts me in the same ballpark of contrast and saturation as the Phantom Neutral LUT. So from now on, whenever I refer to Buttery, I am referring to the plus one contrast version. So typically when we talk about contrast, we're talking about how far away the darkest part of the image is from the brightest part of the image. But the thing that really impresses me about Phantom's LUTs is that the mid-tones, where all of your important information like skin lives, is super smooth and doesn't have any harsh contrast within the middle part of the image. Compared to Buttery's LUT, which sometimes on skin tones, I notice kind of has almost like a bleach bypassy look to it, where the brighter side of the subject's face gets kind of desaturated and the gradient from dark to light on skin isn't as smooth and flattering. It was the first thing I noticed when comparing these LUTs, but I wasn't quite sure how to put that into words. So I got a hold of Joel, who created the Phantom LUTs, to ask him what was going on here. I mean, that's the, that's just down to the two things, the curve of the Alexa that I that I match. It's a very organic looking curve. Again, they, they emulated film, a film curve for that. But also, the, it's color accurate to a point, but then sometimes it'll deviate from reality, but it's only ever to improve reality. <laughs> So there are certain things it does with skin tones. They're quite complex. As the colors move out, they don't always stay the same color as they get more saturated. It would have slightly a yellower skin tone on the less saturated parts. And as it gets more saturated, it starts shifting towards pink. So you get this broad skin tone and it's like alive. It's, it's non-linear changes. It's an emulation of the Ari Alexa's 709 LUT, which is famous basically, has been famous since the Alexa was released in 2010 because you whack that LUT on and it just, ma it just makes grading from that starting point a dream. If you happen to have seen my creative LUT comparison video where I drop some cash on my favorite YouTuber's digital products, then you know that I almost always pair my utility LUT with a creative LUT. The utility gets us in the right ballpark, and then the creative LUT gives us the specific emotion that we're going for with the footage. And to be honest, you know, they just look cool. 
So now I'm going to do a split screen with Phantom and Buttery LUTs with an adjustment layer on top. I'll be jumping between my two current favorite creative LUTs here, Joker and No Country for Old Men, both based off the movies in their name. Joker pushes green and blue towards teal, basically not touching the skin so it looks natural, but then stylizing the world around the skin. No Country has a much more natural, realistic look and makes skin look a little golden. I used the Joker LUT on this music video last year. I'm also planning on using the Joker LUT as the base of my grade for the documentary I shot earlier this year for the band Darwin D's on tour. Both of these LUTs I took from the Tropicolor Best Of pack, which has a few choice LUTs from all of their larger LUT packages. The whole point of a good base like Phantom or Buttery is to be able to grade on top of it or add creative LUTs on top of it. So this is the test that I am really most interested in and in seeing how they react under a creative LUT that I know that I already love. So far, I am more of a fan of Phantom in general, but I do prefer the buttery LUT for shots like this that have prominent red in frame. It seems like what Phantom does to the red channel, which I enjoy on skin tones, makes it less pleasant on inanimate objects that are red, like the spray paint on this trailer or this red hat. The red looks very red in buttery, but with Phantom, the reds are distinctively more magenta. So I also asked Joel about this. That is the consequence of my commitment to accuracy because that is the Alexa. So that's part of the colors veering off as they saturate, uh, it curves. I, the, the mandate is if you use this alongside Alexa, you're gonna get a really, really close match. So I can't just change what I wanna change, you know what I mean? Um, and then Utopia, try Utopia. Utopia actually curves the red back towards orange. Like I think it's more active, like a more red red. It's not too heavy handed, but it also makes the blues a little bit more turquoise. Not crazy, but it's quite a nice, a lot of people's favorite LUT is Utopia. You might, might get you out of trouble and still keep that Phantom look. It's still based on the neutral LUT, but just slightly tweaked. So far, Phantom is my current favorite utility LUT because of how just smooth it is on skin tones, which selfishly looks good on my pale skin. But on the other hand, it also works fantastic when dealing with stylized footage that you're layering creative LUTs on top of. It just kind of always works. And of course, there's a heavy dose of personal preference when it comes to any of these choices. So ideally, you could test these on your footage yourself. All of the LUTs discussed in this video are in the description, but honestly, I think the best bang for your buck is Tyler Stallman's LUT. It's only $10. If you're interested in diving into the pros and cons of that LUT, check out this video, I'll link up there. Subscribe if that's something you're into. Instagram and newsletter are below. Until next time.